Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the school district's annual Veterans Day ceremony. As you can see, this year's ceremony is a little different. Although we are unable to meet in person, we have prepared this virtual celebration because we would not miss the opportunity to honor our veterans. This morning, you will be hearing from our superintendent, Dr. Donald Fenoy, our chief of staff, Mr. Edward Tierney, and a guest speaker, Corey Price, the director of the VA Medical Center. Additionally, we have performances by several talented individuals. At this time, I would like to introduce our chief of staff, Mr. Edward Tierney. Thank you, Ms. Nolan, for that introduction. We will begin with the presentation of colors by the United States Marine Corps Reserve from the 4th Air Naval Gunfire Liaison Company, led by instructor Lieutenant Colonel Richard Lay. Thank you so much to the United States Marine Corps Reserve 4th Naval Gunfire Liaison Company for that outstanding start to our ceremony this morning. At this time, can everyone please stand and join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now, the national anthem will be performed by Vincent Kuchmarowski a U.S. Army veteran who served in Vietnam. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the powerless fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof to the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for oh, the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, Mr. Kuzmirowski, for that wonderful performance. We are pleased to have one of our talented students perform American Medley on the piano. Please welcome Yosetta Wang, an eighth grade student at Bach Middle School of the Arts.
Thank you for that lovely rendition. I am grateful for the privilege of celebrating the veterans that are viewing today, as they are also our fellow employees. An unknown person once said, for the veteran, thank you for bravely doing what you were called to do so we can safely do what we are free to do. Those are powerful words that capture the importance of this day and signify the purpose of our celebration. Thanks to the courage of our veterans and their noble efforts in service to our country, we are able to live freely and safely. The nation is eternally grateful for your service, and we are better off because of the many veterans who have chosen the school district as the place they wish to spend their careers. I'd also like to thank our current students, who will be soldiers, airmen and women, sailors and marines in the near future. Patriotism is alive and well among our students, and we celebrate the next generation of men and women who have chosen to embark on the honorable journey of military service. At this time, I'd like to introduce our superintendent, Dr. Donald Fenoy, for his remarks. Thank you, Mr. Tierney. I'm honored as well to be here today to pay tribute to all of the men and women who have served in the armed forces. Veterans Day has always held tremendous significance for me. I am the proud son of a veteran and part of a military family. I know the value of honor, respect, sacrifice, and dedication because I grew up surrounded by those ideals and they were demonstrated to me every day. I value your experiences, I appreciate how you serve this country, and I appreciate what you bring to the school district. I also want to take a moment to recognize the families of our veterans. I know that it can be tough to be a spouse, a son, a daughter, or parent of a military person. Military families make their own sacrifices that are not always acknowledged. And it's important to let families know that we are grateful for their support. To our veterans, regardless of how many years it has been since you last wore your uniform, that experience remains a significant part of who you are today. While you no longer wear the uniform, the values it represents are still visible. You still hold your head up high, operate with certain discipline, and you take pride in being dedicated to something larger than yourself. It's fitting that you work here at the school district, an organization which embodies those principles. The work that we do to provide children with a world-class education is a calling for many of us and our stated mission. You already understand what it means to be called to serve, the significance of a mission, and what it takes to achieve a stated objective. That's why we are lucky to have so many veterans as part of the school district. Your service in the armed forces is behind you, but the impact of your actions will last well into the future. Your legacy will be one of service, sacrifice, and dignity, leaving a positive imprint on your family and community. To all of the veterans joining us today, thank you for your service to our country, and to the School District of Palm Beach County. Thank you, Dr. Fenoy. At this time, I would like to introduce our guest speaker, Corey Price, the director for the West Palm Beach VA Medical Center. He oversees the delivery of healthcare services to a seven-county area of South Florida veterans and manages more than 2,000 staff members at the main facility in West Palm Beach, as well as six community-based outpatient clinics. He began his federal government career more than 15 years ago as a commissioned medical service corps officer in the U.S. Army, where he oversaw helicopter ambulance employment and operations for nearly 12 years. That experience included both domestic operations in the United States and international operations in Thailand, Germany, Kuwait, and Iraq. In January 2009, Mr. Price left the military to pursue other career opportunities where he could continue to serve veterans and their health care needs. We are privileged to have him here with us this morning. Let's welcome Corey Price. Hello everyone, my name is Corey Price and I'm the interim director of the West Palm Beach VA Medical Center. I'd like to thank you, our partners at the Palm Beach County School District and especially Dr. Donald Fenoy for allowing me to join your Veterans Day ceremony. On Veterans Day in 1988, Ronald Reagan said, we remember those who were called upon to give all a person can give, and remember those who were prepared to make that sacrifice if it were demanded of them in the line of duty. Most of all, he said, we remember the devotion and the gallantry with which all of them ennobled their nation as they became champions of a noble cause. Veterans Day is a remembrance of those champions and what President Reagan described as their deep devotion and gallantry. It's a day when together we pause to reflect on American veterans, the country's best men and women who have served and sacrificed while wearing the uniform of the nation, those who have defended our country in peace 
and in war. Who are the American veterans? They are peacemakers and peacekeepers, ordinary citizens who accomplished extraordinary things. Veterans are strangers we might pass in the street who were ready to sacrifice their lives so others would not sacrifice theirs. They are people who gave vital years of their life in service to this country. Our mothers and our fathers, our grandmothers and grandfathers. They are our brothers, sisters, aunts and uncles, neighbors and friends and colleagues. And every American is a beneficiary of veterans' vigilance and valor. Their contributions to our way of life are immeasurable. As a veteran myself, I am proud to say that I am a member of an elite group of citizens who guarded democracy. At the Department of Veterans Affairs, every day is Veterans Day. Every day, we work to afford our veterans the highest merit they are due. It is a privilege to repay our country's debt of gratitude to those who were there when we needed them the most. It's a privilege to represent our grateful nation in delivering to veterans the programs and services they earned. And it's a privilege to keep President Lincoln's promise to care for him who shall have borne the battle and for his widow and his orphan. Over the last three years, the Veterans Health Administration has made significant transformations to improve VA service to veterans. Today, the VA Mission Act is giving millions of veterans access to care in their communities. The caregiver program expansion now includes Vietnam veterans, Korean War veterans, and World War II veterans injured in the line of duty. We are caring for Vietnam Blue Water Navy veterans as well. And we've started a national conversation on veteran suicide and mental health. In line with the nationwide effort launched to end veteran suicide, locally, our Suicide Prevention Task Force has made great strides to help ensure every veteran has support when they need it most. We owe all courageous Americans who put on the uniform an immeasurable amount of gratitude. It is because of you we continue striving for service excellence at VA. So today, we remember and honor and celebrate all veterans are champions of a noble cause. And we pledge to never forget the sacrifices you have so generously and selflessly made for us and future generations. To all the veterans employed with Palm Beach County, thank you for your service to our nation from myself and our entire West Palm Beach VA Medical Center. Thank you, Mr. Price, for your heartfelt words here today. At this time, we would like to honor our district veterans. Their names and service details will appear on the screen for acknowledgement.
big thank you to all of our veterans for their service and commitment to the United States of America. The school district has also established a website dedicated to honoring our veterans at palmbeachschools.org slash veterans. Now we are excited to feature some of our talented students. First is a performance of America the Beautiful by Angelina Zatelli, a 12th grade student at Palm Beach Central High School. And then a performance of America, My Country, Tis of Thee by Joshua Weatherspoon, a 12th grade student at Lake Worth Community High School.
Let rocks their silence break, the sounds prolong. My country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountain side, let freedom ring. Thank you for those beautiful performances. At this time, Mr. Tierney will deliver his closing remarks. The performances were amazing. Great job, everyone. I would like to thank all of our performers and speakers who took the time to be here today to help us celebrate our veterans. I want to thank the Veterans Day Committee who organized this event. The committee was chaired by Mr. Jimmy Peterkin, who is also a veteran. A special thank you to the Education Network, or TEN, as they are widely known, for their expertise in putting together this virtual ceremony and broadcast. We would also like to thank our community partners, PNC Bank, New York Life, and Mission Barbecue for their support. Most importantly, and the reason we are all gathered here today, is to thank our veterans for their service to our country. I appreciate everyone tuning in this morning for our virtual Veterans Day ceremony. I want to leave you with a quote from our 35th president, John F. Kennedy. He said, as we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. It is, of course, necessary that we speak words of thanks to our veterans, but we should also each carry out the spirit of those words, and the best way to honor our veterans is to live up to the values they have demonstrated. Let's be sure to show gratitude to all the people who work hard to keep us safe. Let's be kind to one another and dedicated to something bigger than ourselves, our school district, community, and country. Thank you again to our veterans, and thank you everyone for your attention today.